Now, as part of the ripple effect of violent protests, which resulted in looting, many businesses are beginning to count their losses. Blossomy Africa's correspondent, Adebanke Udunuyi, visited the Adeniron Ogusonya area of Surulere in Lagos, which was largely looted. Here's her report. Few days ago, many parts of Lagos were thrown into pandemonium. Public institutions, some isolated media houses, businesses, both small, medium and large enterprises, were not spared. The governor's family home was also raised. One of the troubled parts of Lagos is the Sioux Lewe metropolitan part of the state. Thugs and hoodlums reportedly attacked some businesses and households in the Adeniro Gusoya side of the area. Doing protests, saying, hey, we know we agree. How many people were they key for Lekki, all those things. So we are like, we are supporting them like, ah, we are doing protests. All of us, we came out, we are small time, they start demolishing banks. They start destroying banks, stoning things on the bank pulling ATMs, everything. Among some of these businesses was the popular Adeniron Ogusonya Mall, where the retail outlets were broken into and looted. I was inside the gallery when the hoodlums, they came from Shita in their multitude, so running down to, to this shop right. So they passed, they bypassed this place. Later on, it seemed they were uh, repelled by the policemen they came back, reinforced themselves, and started stoning the premises. So when I start, saw them stoning, I have to run for my dear life. I ran into the car park. As I was running, they were stoning with bottles. So I have to run. At about 7 o'clock, everything went boom, and they started. And then the looting and everything. But thank God no life was lost. Business owners are on ground to pick up whatever is left behind. In this tiny store, we have about 15 million hours of inventory. So when the incident happened, uh, I quickly spoke with my admin team to check what our insurance policy cover says. Uh, so it covers fire and peril. Uh, so luckily, uh, the peril uh, uh, portion of the insurance covers riots, and acts of violence and things like that. Shops have been broken into, there's broken glass on the floor, merchandise is on the floor. The people who own these shops, they are here also to salvage whatever they can find. There is a twist to the story, apparently. On Adenawa Ogunsoya itself, the damage is not so much, apart from slots and some banks that were attacked. It's almost as if nothing happened on Adenawa Ogunsoya, and then maybe you now see burnt tires on the road, but then that's all. Outside the mall, Volunteers had taken it upon themselves to begin the cleaning and clearing of the road. We have seen Lagos State Government to clean up the environment. Um, these are some of the things that the Ulnop have done. The best we can do is to assist them in cleaning up the environment since the coffee has been relaxed and people need to start moving. For Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Udunui. Thank you very much, Adebanke, for that report. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.